Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we are going to test out the gaming performance of the Coolpad Note 3 Lite. So this is the light variant of the Coolpad Note 3 which was announced a couple of months back and this comes with a smaller display. This has a 5 inch HD display and it uh, is powered by a quad core chipset uh, instead of the octa core chipset found on the Coolpad Note 3. So apart from that, this has 3 gigs of RAM and a fingerprint scanner and 2500 mAh battery and it also runs the same software. So the only major difference is the display and the processor. Uh, it's a smaller display and the processor is quad core instead of the octa core. So we'll test out the gaming performance of this device along with the heat generated while gaming and uh, we'll play 4 games as Fault 8 Airborne, Real Racing 3, Dead Trigger 2 and Modern Combat 5. So we'll start off with uh, Asphalt 8 Airport. So now we are playing uh, Asphalt 8 Airborne and you can see uh, the overall performance looks quite good considering that this is an ultra budget device uh, in this price point uh, we would say this is a pretty decent gaming overall and uh, you can uh, see uh, there is no lag as such uh, although there are a couple of uh, frame skips happening but we are playing in high graphic mode remember that uh, this is high graphic setting and uh, the, we when we played the cool pad Note 3 it also had really great performance uh, so this also this device also has really great uh, performance in this category if not the best so now we are done with asphalt day day one let's see the temperature so it's uh, around uh, 44 degrees so uh, we played two games of asphalt and uh, it's reached 44 degrees on the display we we'll say it's uh, around the 41 42 degrees now let's move on to the next game
So we are done with the gaming on the cool pad Note 3 Lite and uh, the maximum temperature reach was around, uh, uh, this is 42 degrees, uh, we reached almost 44 degrees with the Asphalt 8 Airborne. So that's the uh, temperature, it's slightly higher side, uh, it's pretty warm, uh, but you don't really feel uh, uh, the device getting warm, the fingerprint scanner does get slightly uh, warm. Apart from that, uh, if you take the gaming experience, Asphalt 8 Airborne was played with high graphic settings and it was definitely playable. Uh, there was frame skips uh, that is there but then considering the budget aspect this is pretty good gaming overall so with medium graphic settings it should play without uh, much issues even the high graphic settings it was definitely playable and uh, apart from that other than the other games like real racing 3 and red trigger 2 also played pretty well uh, with modern compact 5 uh, we did experience um, uh, higher frame skips uh, but that's probably because the device did get warm and uh, the gaming experience was slightly uh, reduced overall but overall considering the Price point 699 is the pricing of this device for, for that pricing this is a pretty good gaming we don't really see too many devices in this price point playing uh, high in games in high graphic settings and without any any major lag or issues so the cool pad note 3 definitely is a good device for gaming in this price point that's below 7k and uh, does pretty good job overall and it is almost similar to what we saw on the cool pad note 3 so that was the gaming experience of the cool pad note 3 lite so hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day